Right, it's the 10th of December. Let's see what we've got under this door. And it's typical. The door folds the wrong way. We have a resistor. Or at least we could, we did if we could get it out of the box. Instructions say for the tenth. Right. Project ten. Play a tune. Behind door number ten, you'll find another resistor. This one has a resistance value of ten k. Brown, black, orange. And is used to select the next program. Up to now, you've only used two programs on the chip, which you selected by connecting the input with 0 or 4.5 volts. However, the controller can also recognise other voltages. In this circuit, a voltage di divider with 10 kilo ohms and 100 kilo ohms is connected to the input, so that only after a small voltage is present on the pin. After restarting, the microcontroller knows immediately which program to launch, namely a simple sound generator. In this game, we use an outward facing wire to change the sound. As long as you do not touch this wire, the piezo converter produces an ascending or descending tone sequence. By touching the wire, you can lower or raise the tone. Even when the, you stand effects, even when you stand the, affects the pitch, when you stand in the vicinity of the electrical wire, the pitch can change completely randomly. You can enhance this effect by letting a second person hold the breadboard with the battery holder in his hand. With some experience, you can affect the melody by repeatedly touching the wire. Maybe you'll turn out to be a master of electronic music. Info Electrical Charge This sounds like magic, but it's actually based on physics. The program constantly measures the voltage at the input and controls the pitch based on this value. This is an open input with an extremely high resistance, which can charge itself arbitrarily to random voltages. Even the smallest charges can change the voltage. Every human carries electrical charge, which charge rapidly by friction. When you are near an alternating current cable, you carry a certain amount of AC voltage which can lead to an alternating tone ascending sequence. Okay, let's bring our project back in. And we yank out all our LEDs again. Pull out the two bottom buttons. Everything else stays the same. No, it doesn't. We pull out this jumper again. We take the resistor and we plug that in where the jumper was. And we take our pin we use for our wire maze. Put that in there. Move that over again to a different pin, which just happened to be pin one. Switch it on.
Well, that's enough of that. And that's the end of project 10. Move that out of the way. And let's see what the next project brings.